All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I decided I'm gonna play some Hullbreaker Lucian. So basically, I'm just gonna AFK split push and be a tank, kind of, as Lucian. The way we're running it is we'll probably go like Kraken Slayer into Hullbreaker, and then we'll go like AD, or ADC, AD items, but uh, we have some runes that kind of give us some tankiness. So we're going Grasp, Demolish, and this is so that when we embrace the Hullbreaker ability, we also have Demolish, and that gives us tons of damage to towers. We have bone plating so that we don't die in the trades. Overgrowth, um, just gain more health. And then alacrity and last stand. Give us a little bit of attack damage. And then also, like, as a tank, we'll be able to take a little bit better trades. And when they do try to inevitably 2v1 us, probably be able to survive a little bit. Now, I expect to um, win this lane pretty hard, especially early on. Um, especially with Grasp. Like, if she continues to just let me attack her, I'm going to destroy her. We'll save our Q4 again. Um, and then we'll get another Grass proc off. <laughs> you can tell she's already flaming. We'll get our Grass proc off here. Oh, she started E2. We're going to kill her here. Yeah, she has to back off now that I hit 2. If she gets anywhere near these minions, I'm just going to kill her, or at least burn her flash. She's going to either go for this or let it die. Okay, I'll take that. So we're able to bully her quite a bit. Uh, she has no more potions after this. That was good. Oh! And we got another proc off. I think if I can get my Q on her here. I think if I get my Q on her here, she dies. She's going to go for this. Dang it. Man, are you kidding me? That's fine. I'll take the first blood. Are they, wait, are they going to Zed Jungle? Oh, they do have a Zed Jungle. That's fine. Um, So we are going to start out going Kraken Slayer. And then we'll go to Hullbreaker after that. So we'll go, we'll go traditional... Yeah, we'll buy that. We'll go traditional. Um, we'll go more traditional in the beginning, and then we'll pick up the hole breaker. Essentially, like, we're already getting kind of tanky just from the grasp. So we've gained six times of grasp proc. And then it's given us 54 healing, and, you know, it increases our health. So I think we have more health than her. Yeah, so she started out with the Doran shield, um, which I guess they both give you the same amount of health. But we have more health than her, and we're equal level. And it'll only, the disparity will only get worse. Okay, bud. <laughs> the only problem we may run into is um, mana issues, because we're going to want to fight and poke a lot. But I think we'll be okay. I am excited to see how it ends up going here. Just because, like, you can see already, like, how much we're bullying her. I don't even know why I bought the, the refillable. That was a waste of money. I should have just saved a little more. I don't know if I want to go tier, um, or if I just want to rely on getting an Essence Reaver. The problem is the Essence Reaver is going to be the third item because I really want the Hull Breaker. I don't want to, like, clickbait people and be like, oh, I got a Hull Breaker, and then make you guys watch, like, 17 minutes before I actually get it because... I like to do full gameplays instead of editing. Every time I try to edit, nobody stays for the video. So I'd much rather just like do the whole thing. That being said though, um, hopefully you guys do end up enjoying the content. If you do, like look at the health disparity here. 959 to 863. It just keeps getting further and further apart. Like I'm also not really that worried um, about... There we go. Uh, I'm also not that worried about a gank, just because I have I have a good amount of health, to be honest with you. Oh, I missed that. Uh, we can't really kill her anymore. But yeah, with that being said, if you guys do end up enjoying the content, I hope you do like the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I hope you drop a subscribe, check out other content. We do, we do like, interesting and unique stuff all the time. Um, I play, like, every role that exists. So, uh, it's something that I really enjoy doing, is just switching things up. Yeah, they're doing the dragon, so I have no worries at all here. 
Oh, I don't have enough mana for it. It's gonna be a second before I do. Oh, I just screwed myself. Yeah, I think I might have to go tier here. I guess I'll just stick with the... I don't know why he didn't use his um his W. His W was up. I guess we'll just take plating here and then go back. Because Zed's bottom lane. I can just ignite her. Oh. See that demolish like coming in there? It's so strong. Yeah, I think we're going to get a tier. Just because I, I need it. And I don't want to build Essence Reaver. But it is what it is. That was a that was a bad cue. I hit like none of the minions on that. All right, bonk. All right, we should be able to get this plating. She doesn't have her. That's fine. She's not gonna be able to kill me here. All right, so we're two levels up. I'm gonna back. She can't push super hard. We're up. 23 CS. I mean, it'll be less at this point. I have to back here, unfortunately, but I think I am going to buy a tier. Just because I don't have it anywhere else in the uh, the build. And we'll buy boots off that, too. All right, cool. So, we'll, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that I go um, Hullbreaker second item. Just because I want to see what it feels like, and I don't want to run out of mana, so that's why I picked up the tier. Because, ideally, what I would do is go... Probably Kraken, Essence, and then Hullbreaker, but that's not going to make as interesting content for you guys, because it'll take forever for me to do that, and then you'll have to sit here for like 10 minutes. Are you, what, what is your goal here, bud? Are you in here? Surely you're not in here, right? Wait. You're not very wise, are you? Who is this? Do I even need to worry about them? Wait, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, well, that was a waste of an ult. <laughs> I hope he gets him. Oh my gosh, Warwick, you're useless. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, like I said, yo, get out of my lane. Why? At least push it to the tower, please. Are you kidding me? All right, well, it should push. Um, so like I said before, like with the way this is going, especially because I have grasp already, my health isn't super high because I'm not building health items, but I have the grasp. So that, that alone is just giving me tons of health. So let's take a look here. I'm level eight and Gwen is level six. She has 1100 health and I have 1200. So like I'm already 100 plus above her. I'm a level above her. I have 20 CS up on her. Like, I can just bully her over and over and over. And, um, I feel like even if the Zed shows up, once I get the hole breaker, it won't matter. It won't matter at all. I don't know why she's just choosing to fight me here. Oh wait, she might actually kill me. Oh, I attacked the minions too many times. Whoops, dude. Okay, so I can't I can't stand there and not trade auto for auto with her. That was dumb of me. I thought I was gonna do more damage than that. That's okay though. Oh, she did go armor boots right away too. I should have like kited her better and played a little smarter than that, but that's okay. I think he should be able to kill her or not. I'm not going to get an assist here. Wow. That was the most bronze play I've ever... I guess I did make a really bronze play there, too. Um, yeah. Oh, I can help him. He's fine. I got him. We can kill him. He he will probably get... Um, He'll probably get him. He's going to be a red right now, actually. If he couldn't kill the Warwick, he's going to try to take red. Yeah. Oh, he left. Okay. Oh, he's over here. He's going to ult me. Well, he should die. 
Yeah, I guess I'll stay in lane. I'm playing this so poorly, you guys. I haven't played Lucian in forever. And these are really weird. Um, these are really weird runes to run on Lucian. So I initially was going to do this video with Vayne. But the, te the enemy team picked Vayne. And then I was going to try this yesterday. I haven't had much time to try it because I've been too busy with work and stuff. But then the enemy team banned Vayne. So it's like every time I want to play it. I can't play it. Oh, that's not what I'm building. I'm building Kraken Slayer. Why are you trying to recommend me this stuff? I guess I should just up my, upgrade my boots here. Well, now nah, she pushed it pretty quick. We're relatively healthy. I think we can stay. I just need to not try to auto for auto her. I can stay back. Give her an auto here or there. Just need to not die like to this. Yeah, I just can't stand on top of her uh, on top of her ult. Oh, that was done with me. I'm dead. Right? Surely I'm dead. Well, at least I killed her. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. But that's okay. We got a Kraken Slayer. Like I said, it's it's a bit of an awkward build because Grasp is not that strong on Lucian. This would have been a much better build on Vayne, but I think it's still going to turn out being really fun because we're going to have a lot of pressure up here. Especially now that we picked up the Kraken Slayer. Um, we'll be able to beat her pretty hard. We picked up that extra, extra attack speed. I can spam a little better as well. Um... With the tier, I'm able to spam a little better since we're we're getting that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll get our attack speed boots, and then we'll go hull breaker, and then from there she's catching up, which is not fun. But she also has the boots, which gives her the gap close really well. I really can't like get near her as much if I don't have my ult, because if she if she tries to like engage on me with her ult with my ult, I just kill her. Oh, that was dumb. I don't know why I. Uh, Went away there. Alright, I need to be smarter here. Um, Cause I'm getting camped a lot. Yeah, this is such a weird... Ah, uh, she ran. Okay. Alright, we might ult her. Just to force her out of lane. That was really bad. I think Zed... Oh no, Zed's mid lane. Okay, so she might try some like... Flashy stuff here. Oh! I think I can kill her. Yeah, she should be dead. Nice! Sweet! I knew I could beat her there, I just had to dodge her ult. Sweet, dude! Alright, so we'll uh... We'll grab our boots, just because she's beating us because I can't kite her as well as I need to. So we'll grab our boots. And then we'll grab our Hullbreaker after that. Yeah, like I said, it's just it's just super awkward because you have no attack speed. Like, Lucian, like, he's built around being able to attack a little bit faster than this, and I have nothing in my kit. Like, I have the Alacrity. I mean, that's helping slowly, but it's still not great. So that's going to help us. We'll be able to run from her a little better, kite her, not... Try to trade auto for auto while she's standing on top of me. That should help quite a bit. Um, yeah, because the Hullbreaker is going to give me lots of health. Let's look at this item real quick. Alright, well. I probably should keep this frozen. Instead of letting her get near it. But it's okay. And I probably should be watching for Zed a little more, but I don't really care. Yeah, I just need to not, um, whenever she tries to fight me like that, I need to not stay there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those grass. That's fine. I don't care. I'm actually down. I'm just going to kill her. I'm just going to kill her. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just kill her. If they're going to camp me up top, I'll just kill her. Like I said, I want this kind of stuff to happen. I want to be left alone. Uh, I think we'll just wait on this pickaxe. So let's look at it. 50 attack damage, 300 health, 150 health, base or base health regen. 
And then you gain 20 to 45 armor, magic resist, and increased damage to towers. So that's going to come in handy. The increased damage to towers plus the demolish that I have. And then nearly large minions gain that. So they gain 60 to 135 armor, magic resist, and 200% increased damage to towers. So we'll be able to push really hard and take our tower really fast. So we'll keep playing that role. Um, we're out leveling her. We're about to be two levels above her. I imagine she'll level up as soon though. So we'll pick up Hallbreaker and then we'll get our Man Immune. Um, I think we're going to get Cant a lot, but I'm honestly okay with it. I don't think that's going to catch him. I think we're okay here. Wow, that hit me. Oh man, you're really annoying. Okay. Okay, bud. Yeah, I think they're just going to stay focused on me. Which is really annoying, but I mean it is what it is. I gotta kill him. Wow. Yeah, they're just gonna hyper focus me the rest of the game. Which sucks because I ideally I wanted to push this, but because she's losing so hard, like I've been and I've been pushed the entire game too, so I mean that's on me. Oh, she swapped. Okay. I'm just gonna go bottom then. I want I want whatever lane she's in. I want to be left alone. I want my lane to be left alone with whoever I'm fighting. All right, so Hullbreaker. Where is it? There it is. So we need 1,900 more, or about 1,700 more. I mean, she does have TP too, so it's like she could stay top, but I'm just going to stay whatever lane is alone. And they're obviously not going to leave me alone in my lane. Uh, I could probably come help this. I could probably catch this Seraphine here. Oh, that was a great ward there. Huh. Uh, there's no point. I don't care about them. I'm not going to catch up and fight anybody. I mean, the Seraphine might have backed. Oh, she's so dead. She's big dead. And he's gone. I'm not chasing that. I just want to sideline. That's all I want to do is just sideline. I want to see like how quickly I'm going to be able to take towers and put pressure on. Like I said, people are going to inevitably end up coming to my lane. So like even now, my score doesn't look fantastic, but the amount of pressure that I've been able to create the entire game is like incredible. Because the rest of my team is doing okay. But the, what like they should be able to capitalize much better. This is not very high elo or great players well that was terrible as i miss every q um so like the amount of pressure that i'm able to draw to myself has been good like right now zed's coming down here too oh he's not someone else is coming down here because i don't see the seraph okay there's the seraphine um and there's the vein okay cool we have to be able to dodge her uh we have to be able to dodge her. Did we get her? I don't know if I got her. The ignite. I think the ignite got her. Cool. So we'll get three autos on this. Okay. We're almost there to the hole breaker. We're gonna push this. Like I said, I don't really care about. Um, I don't really care about group fights. My entire objective here is to just split push towers. Look at that. Look at that damage. And then we add in an empowered minion too. Alright, we'll bounce. Uh, I don't think we have Hole Breaker just yet, but we're going to sell this and grab the Phage. That'll also help um, with the kiting. Uh, eh, kind of. I mean, it'll give us a little bit of health. Alright, let's grab Hole. Hole, the Phage part of it. I mean, if, if she wants to stay bottom, I'll just match bottom. Okay, Jinx is going to go down there. That's fine. I'll come here. So, I mean, our CS is kind of low, and our K KDA isn't super great. But like I said, we've been drawing so much pressure that if this were higher ELO, this would get stomped. But, like, in, in this ELO, it's doing okay. Um, but, but the thing is, like, because I'm drawing so much pressure... The rest of the team should be doing something with it. They're just not. And and we do have a lot of health. I have to figure out what I want to go after the mirror mana. Because that will be the next item. Oh wow, I don't do much damage. That's one of the problems that I'm facing. So we'll get this tower really easily because of demolish. 
Yeah, look at that. So much damage. Um, what? Did she? Was that? That's not the ult, right? Okay. You do a lot of damage here. Uh, I'm probably dead here. Maybe. If his W comes up. But if his W doesn't come up, I'm okay. Can we get a hole yet? We can. Sweet. We're going to grab that. So it's it's just really hard for me to uh, to do damage, I guess. So I don't know. Maybe this isn't as great as or as, as, as wonderful as I was hoping it would be. Um, I mean, it seems kind of strong, but it's not. It, I don't have the damage output to deal with a lot of people. I am very tanky, though. 600 health above him. 400 above him. You know, and I'm demanding the pressure of multiple people. So I guess it could be useful. It's just not uh it's just not easy to 1v1 people, especially with the grasp. The grasp is like super weak on Lucian because it doesn't take advantage of his auto attacks. Or it doesn't like utilize his auto attacks very well. But now that we have the hole breaker, we'll get to see like is it actually useful? Because if, if they ignore me and they just let me push, I'm going to get this tower really fast. Like, ridiculously fast. And I have decent vision over here. And the dragon's about to be up soon. So, like, they have to decide, do we want to contest this dragon or do they want to fight for me? And this is where I'm saying, like, in low elo... Uh, they probably have two or three up here, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, I would say there are probably two or three up here. Let's go put a deep reward in here. Oh, there's a pink. So, like, they have to send multiple here or give up this dragon. Um, I'm hoping that they let me get onto this tower here. Because I want to see how quickly I can kill it. Okay, so I baited that out of her. She just won't let me get near this tower. Here we go. Oof. See, I do no damage. Okay, that works. Alright, we'll kill this tower really quick. Okay, so it's pretty good. I, I was able to dive her. But like I said, if they don't pay attention to me, I deal so much damage to the towers that, like here, I'm, go I'm probably going to die for this. Well, that was interesting so see like we we they either have to come or they lose they lose towers so i, I don't think it's terrible here uh i think i could probably buy man immune right can i buy man immune no I, I definitely don't have enough do i man uh man uh immune oh no we can't that's okay so we're pretty strong uh i'll probably just continue to go back top how much do we need for this another 700 I'm gonna go take red. Oh, I guess they're gonna take it. That's fine. So like, the, yeah, that's the thing is like, it's not super strong, but it's not super weak either. Obviously these players aren't that great. So, you know, I'm benefiting a little bit from that. And I made some mistakes cause you know, I'm human and I'm not that good anyway, but it does, it does require like a lot of attention. Okay. So I, I either, it's either Zed and Seraphine or just Zed. Okay. It's multiple, it's multiple. Okay, we could probably Baron off this, but I'm just going to keep pushing. Yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing. They, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. They should be Baroning. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> my fingers were on the wrong buttons there. I want my teammates to not be here. Leave me alone. Go do that or something. I don't know why the Jinx is split pushing. Bottom lane. Um, oh, I got hit by that. Oh no, she could actually kill me here. She does a, what, what is this? What the heck, dude? Oh, I didn't realize she was that fed. That was ridiculous. I did not know she was that fed. That is actually kind of OP. I've never seen, I've never played against the Seraphine mid. So I wasn't aware that um, there was so much, like, consistent CC and slowage. 
I might just sell the Doran's Blade for the man immune here. Alright, yeah. Well, so we'll sell that. Uh, next. I'm trying to think what would be the most beneficial for our kit. I mean, we have good attack damage. I think maybe some attack speed would be good. Um, and since we've been going against the Gwen and others, and we're trying to duel, maybe a blade would be good here. Because that's the, the, the biggest problem that we're facing, um, essentially, is that we, like, we're having a hard time dueling the people as they come. And that's the strength that we're trying to utilize as well. I don't think we're going to win this fight. Um, I don't do that much damage either. Um, I don't know what I can do here to stop them. Okay, I think I got the Maokai. Sweet. That might deter them from doing it. Yeah. Um, I think we stopped them from doing it, so that's good enough. I'm just actually gonna go bottom. Jinx can stop them. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take this mid tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they actually got it. Okay. But the demolish proc will kick in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw him. Alright, so Dragon is going to be up soon. We should probably fight for that. Actually, it'll be really strong on me as well because I am tanky. Yeah, so I should say bottom side here. We'll just steal all this jungle while we're here. I need to remember to use my abilities a little more since I have mana immune. It's possible that we could get one or two here. I need to be careful going in for this engage. Um, I might even just let them fight it out and take this tower. If they can pick up the, the Zed here, that would be fantastic. I should be able to get her. Yeah, I was going to say I should be able to get her. Alright, I'll help them grab this. That's cool. I mean, that's good. Um, they're out pushing because they have Baron, obviously. So it's interesting to see so far like how it's going. I have decent health. I mean, I have 2400 health. I have 312 AD. 1.79 attack speed. I'm pretty sure I would destroy the Vayne at this point. Unless she stunned me. I could be wrong though. Let's see if she's still doing this. Okay, she's not. Yeah, she's gonna leave because she's pretty scared of me. And we're empowering this. We like we want to be left alone. So even though they got the bear in there, they didn't really get much out of it. We have. I guess it's equal on towers. Um, the biggest thing is like, they're just gonna continue to try to chase me, and. Even though, like, I have disengage, it's still not the greatest disengage, so I kind of have to be careful of where I'm at on the map and my awareness. And my awareness has been kind of lazy, if I'm being entirely honest with you. What do we need for this? Another 400 or so. So there's a good chance that Zed is here. Okay, we should be okay too, because I'm tanky. And we'll we'll life heal we'll life steal some of this back. Ah, uh, she's so freaking strong, dude. I might have to build some MR for her. I mean, they have Gwen and her, so maybe the last item should be some MR. See, if this were me, I would have already killed this. That's what I'm trying to do. Is just we're we're getting focused so hard, and it's not even like I'm doing super well. It's just I'm doing. I have the most pressure to apply, which I should. I don't think I don't think Nico can beat her. I think she's gonna get the inhib here. And Warwick didn't even trade for it, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, we don't have anyone up, so she should get that inhib. That's a bad trade. Warwick should have just backed off. This is really 
an unfortunate decision by him. So I think I need to get something MR for the... Uh... How much health do I have? have? Have I gained 300 health? Maybe a Spirit Visage would actually be good too, because then that would give me Ability Haste and Health Regen. I might just do that. I know that sounds crazy, but I already am a tank. Plus, this item gives us 10% attack speed on every other legendary item, so... I think it's not a bad idea. And I can keep this empowered minion with me as long as I don't have anyone near me. Yeah, the attack speed feels much better with the blade here. That was really what was, like, hard for me. Grabbing the spirit visage should help a lot. I do need to expect to be ganked over and over and over and over again, though. We do- I feel like we deal some decent damage now, though. Picking that blade up was nice. I, I really need to respect them here, unfortunately. The Zed uh, can't do a whole lot, especially now that I picked up the blade and I can lifesteal off of him. Not a whole lot, but the Seraphine I'm still worried about. Until I pick up the Spirit Visage, uh, I don't know that there's a whole lot that I can do. They need to be careful. If they end up dying here, we're going to be in a lot of trouble because that means I'm going to have to back. And this build really can only be utilized, or it's better utilized solo. I don't know what this guy keeps doing. I'm not really worried about him. Like, I can fight him if I want to. I guess that's good, though, because it, it takes him away from the rest of the team. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. Yeah, he's dead. I don't know what he's doing. I'm just going to push. Yeah, I don't think he recognizes the fact that I'm a tank. <laughs> I don't think he's recognizing that. They need to make sure we get that dragon. That'll be that'll be really good for me, especially since I'm a tank. Who do I have to worry about? Seraphine? I think at this point I can take her. I think. Alright, so this is going to die really easily. Uh, we should be able to get this next one too. Even with these supers, I think we can still get it. Alright, we got to respect her, unfortunately. It drives me nuts. But we have to respect her. Alright, so we'll go steal this red. And then um, we'll help with the dragon. This red will help us a lot. I think I can buy spirit now, can't I? Almost. We gotta be really careful because she will 100... Yeah, she'll 100 him really easily. I'm out. Oh wait, I need a little more money. Cool. This is actually starting to work out pretty well. Um, and, and getting that ability haste with the Spirit Visage is going to give us a lot. No, dude! They surrendered! Oh, man. That's a feels bad. We didn't get to put the Spirit Visage in there. All right, let's let's see the damage here. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see the damage here. You know, not bad. Not bad considering I was tank Lucian. Yeah, the Seraphine went nuts there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on it. Comment down below. Say something nice. Say how your day is going. Say whatever you want to say. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, check out the other stuff. I'll include links in the video or the description down below. And you know, you can always go check out the page. But until next time, guys, peace.